The race for the silver roof in Brisker Formula One stock car racing is hotting up and over 40 cars have gathered for round nine of the Mintex National Points Championship here at Northampton International Raceway. Many of the cars arriving fresh from Birmingham Wheels Raceway the night before on this Midlands doubleheader weekend, plenty with a few repairs to make after a hard-hitting night at Birmingham where 197 Ryan Harrison took the final, but it is still 390 Stuart Smith who enjoys a handsome lead at the top of the National Points Championship. V8 Hot Stocks, Brisker Formula 2 and National Mini Stocks also racing today with an entry of over 150 cars in total, racing on the Northampton tarmac in the autumn sunshine. We begin in the first part of our programme with two heats and the consolation for the Brisker Formula 1 stock cars. The National Mini Stocks and Brisker Formula 2s join in in the second part of the programme, followed by the final for the F1s and then the Grand National to round off the programme. We get ready to go racing then with the heats at number one. Half the cars out there, just under 20 of them for this uh, heats at number one. Names to look out for include the world champion Nigel Green, the National Points Championship leader Stuart Smith in 390. 515, the British champion Frankie Wayman Jr., who did not have the best of nights at Birmingham, looking to improve here today. We're on board with Stuart Smith in 390, starting from the very back of the grid as the points leader. Off from the front, number 13, Kelvin Hassell and 478 of Shane Geary, along with 292 of Terry Sparks in one of the higher cars, will lead the field away. 16 laps the distance then, away they go. Already a fair bit of battling going on among the blue grade as they get underway there. Reds and superstars at the back, the green flag waves from the starter. It's number 13, Kelvin Hassell, who's got the early lead ahead of 478, pushing his way through there off turn four. That's local man Shane Geary. It's the A top stocks and Rebels racer. A lot of smoke from somebody's engine there. That's Danny Colliver in 468. Looks like he's blown up. 268 of uh, Richard Woods pulling off as well. 545, Neil Hooper is up into third place. Stuart Smith in, in uh, 390, attacking number three. Chris Ford goes through there on turns three and four. Great clouds of smoke from Colliver in 468. He's surely going to have to retire. Yes, out goes the southeast based driver. Through the smoke comes 478 Shane Geary leading the way ahead of Kelvin Hassell and looks like Phoebe Wayman in uh, 211, daughter of Frankie Wayman Jr., is up there in third place. 25 Bradley Harrison under fire from the world champion Nigel Green in 445 and European champion won his European title here this year in 515 in 445 chased by Junior Wayman the British champion in 515 and next target is the 501 of George Elwell leader comes up to lap Terry Sparks in 292 coming up towards half distance in this heat number one the first 10 finishers will go through to the meeting final the rest will have to go in the consolation Green passes Elwell, followed by Wayman. A tangle there, that's Kelvin Hassell, the early leader's gone. He's tangled with the 292 car of Terry Sparks. So up front now is 478 of Shane Geary. Chased by 545 of Neil Hooper as he come towards half distance. Third place is the number 48 of Sean Webster in behind them, the former saloon stock car world champion. Stuart Smith attacking the 515 of Junior Wayman. Wayman v Smith, the battle has been fought out for many decades in Brisker F1 and in goes the bumper from Stuart Smith to fire Wayman out wide, Neil Hooper battling with 478 of Shane Geary and with Sean Webster in 48 for the lead. It's 545 Neil Hooper, he's won the Brisker F2 European title here at Northampton in the past and he leads at halfway. Hooper who leads the way, the man from Devon. I know Stuart Smith now starting to close on the leaders, so is Nigel Green. It's Hooper who leads ahead of Webster, only by a few hundreds of a second. Green in third place, Stuart Smith now up into fourth. Shane Geary slowing up, looks like he's out of it. Dropping down the order there on the home straight. Still your leader is Neil Hooper ahead of Sean Webster. Sean is a blue grader, but you wouldn't know it looking at his roof. Red, yellow and blue on his aerofoil there. 4-5, Nigel Green closes up on Webster, he's going to try and go for second place and then attack race leader. 5-4-5, Neil Hooper, it's going to be 5-4-5 against 4-4-5 for the lead of the race. Stuart Smith in behind them though in 3 9 looking to extend his points lead, the lap boards are out, four to go for race leader. Neil Hooper, is Nigel Green going to catch him? Terry Sparks moves out of the way, lets the leaders lap him. The unfortunately dry Northampton tarmac. To run. He's 
Neil Hooper going to hang on? I don't think he is because Nigel Green is right on his bumper there. Nigel's already won 10 finals on tarmac this year and has been almost unbeatable on the hard stuff this year. He's already done the fastest lap of the race. He's closing on Hooper with two laps to go. Here he goes into turn one, in goes the bumper. Hooper tries to ride out the hit, holding on there on turn two. Stuart Smith in behind them. Green attacks again into turn three. He's up the inside. He's going to take the lead. Coming out of turn four, Green leads into the last lap. Neil Hooper under fire for second from Stuart Smith. Smith up the inside at turns one and two, but I don't think he's going to get close enough to attack Green here on the final turn. No, he's not. He goes out wide. Hooper attacking him, and it's going to be a win for Nigel Green. Hooper not quite going to take second place back, but a brave effort attacking Stuart Smith there into the final turn. The rest of the pack come home across the line. We'll confirm the ten qualifiers for the final in uh, just a few moments, but Nigel Green takes yet another Northampton win. He's been uh, almost unbeaten through the season here. Red flags come out then to conclude. Heat number one, Nigel Green taking the win by 0.8 of a second. Stuart Smith just holding off Neil Hooper on the line. Sean Webster and Junior Wayneman rounding out the top five. 16 of the 19 starters that went the distance in that one, and it was race winner Nigel Green who got the fastest lap, as he seems to in every tarmac race at the moment. 445, Nigel Green, heat one re hit winner here at Northampton. Bit far back in the shootout, I know you're second, but points wise, can you do anything? I can do what I can, I mean, it's got to the stage now where Stuart's a long way up the road, so um, fair play to him, he's had no off off meetings, or off finals at least, and uh, he's been clocking them up, and I, I had a, a slow start, and he, he won a couple of finals, and then had some good results in the Nationals that really gave him some heavy points early on so he's had that break and he's sort of sustained it really throughout so fair play to him he's, he's got away hasn't he and uh, yeah I think it'd be too little too late now to 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 start firing him in really I think he's he's over 100 points ahead so obviously I'm here to win but I can only do what I can do I'm, I'm not going to start firing him in the fence yet because uh, I wouldn't really deem that right at the minute and going back to your race and obviously uh, we mentioned the curse of the gold roof when you won it and your luck has gone downhill a bit since you got that gold roof but it's coming back now had a bit of a lull yeah definitely had a lull i won the day after here on tarmac uh, that was good but um yeah i had a couple of meetings then where it just didn't go to plan for no no same reason it's not all bad luck just different issues going on and um i, I took a visit to the fence when i put the pink panther in the fence and that that took its toll on the car as well because I hit the fence quite hard and um, so then we lost a race at, at Skeggy and, and bits and bobs and it just, it just hasn't gone to plan. I haven't really made any mistakes as a driver, just a bit of reliability issues and a few unfortunate crashes that's damaged the car and cost us a lot of time. So I've had a good year, I hold my head up high, but the shootout for me this year is not really going the way I'd like it to. And are the new cars ready for next year? Yeah. Well, they're not ready yet, but they're, they're going to be. So we hopefully want to get them wrapped up by Christmas time and then have a few months off to uh, gain a bit of momentum again and uh, recharge the batteries. So hopefully this will be the last meeting for this car today and uh, we'll park this one up and have it as a spare and hopefully develop the new one uh, sort of March time next year, put some miles on it and hopefully hit the ground running with that. And how about a trip to New Zealand? Is that on for the winter? It was going to be until we got the dates and we're away skiing so uh, it's already booked and paid for and we're going with another two couples so it wouldn't wouldn't be right to pull out of that but um, yeah I fancied that this year but um, maybe next year now. Well best of luck for the final today. Thank you. The other half of the entry on track then for heat number two. The names worth looking out for in this one include 2011 world champion number two Paul Harrison, 464 of Luke Davidson also number 408 starting from blue grade the reigning under 25s champion and also british touring car championship driver ant wharton eels looking to defend his under 25 championship at uh, birmingham in november there is wharton eels in the murray harrison built car number 408 186 todd jones starting behind him also up there we've got brian harrison the final winner last night at Birmingham looking to make it a double for the weekend on his local raceway starting alongside Ben Riley in 422 novice Mark Barmer in 163 starts from the back 325 Richard Davies and number 24 of Mark Adkins lead them off the green is down 16 laps coming your way 21 cars 
on track this time. It's number 24, Mark Adkins, who will take the lead up the inside, coming out of turn number two. Number five, Frankie JJ, Frankie Wayman Jr. Jr. under fire from uh, number two, Paul Harrison, and 464 of Luke Davidson as they head into turn three. Davidson up the inside. Oh, we've got red flags, we've got a rollover at uh, turn three. Who is that? It's Ryan Harrison. My goodness, Ryan Harrison, last night's final winner, is upside down at turn three. We'll see what happened. Coming into at turn three, I'm walloped straight in, no, in no uncertain terms. That was Ben Riley. Now, that's revenge for Ben Riley being put in by Ryan Harrison at Birmingham in, uh, I think it was the Grand National last night. Ryan, fortunately, is OK, but he won't make it a final double for the weekend. <laughs> Applauding rather sarcastically Ben Riley, I think, there. A bit of rivalry going on, and that's the end of Ryan Harrison's meeting, I would say. Fortunately, all drivers are OK. You're getting ready for the restart. Mark Adkins, who won the consolation race at Birmingham last night. Your race leader took the win last night on his first meeting of the season in the ex-Joe Booth car. Richard Davies second, and Aaron Leach, number 70, is in third. He had a win at Birmingham as well. So he gets back underway then. Number 24, Mark Adkins, leads them off. The talking point of this race, I would say, has already happened. Ben Riley gaining revenge. Being put in by Ryan Harrison last night with a massive wallop straight in. Over went to Ryan Harrison. 325 Richard Davies now gets put in, coming off turn four. Mark Adkins continues to lead. There's Antwort Niels in 408 under attack from Luke Davidson, another former European champion in 464. Their next target, Steve Whittle. Also, Michael Scriven, who's had his fair share of wins here over the years in number 12. A bit of a tangle there coming off turn four. Somebody has clipped the stationary car of Richard Davies, I think. It's Mark Adkins who leads ahead of Aaron Leach. He's under fire from Tristan Jackson, who had two wins at Birmingham last night. Mark Sargent in 3-2-6 gets sent wide there. Plenty of place swapping in among the higher graders. There's Danny Wayman in 2-1-2, chased by Paul Hines. Drew Lammas in behind him in 5-4-3. Paul Harrison racing a higher car today after his own car got uh, rather smashed up at Birmingham last night. Race settling in then. Talking points, we say, of this race has pretty much already happened. 24, Mark Adkins, still the leader. Chase Meyer and Leach. Looks like it's Todd Jones up into third place. Now he's bouncing off the home straight fence there. That was uh, Mark Sargent. No one, Tristan Jackson, still up there as well in the lead pack. Half a second is the lead for Mark Adkins, so the gap is coming down. Todd Jones half into third place, Mark Sargent dropping back, Adkins sideways, burning the tyres, coming out in turn two, looking for his second win of the weekend. Danny Wayman does the fastest lap of the race, 14.83. Union flag is out for halfway. Todd Jones is half into second place, the man from Surrey in 186. He's alongside his brother Murray over the last couple of years. Look on the inside at turn four, Todd Jones going for the lead, has he got it? Yes, he has, down the home straight. Jones leads ahead of Adkins, third place is Aaron Leach, he's going for second now on the inside. Looking for his second win of the weekend, he had a heat win at Birmingham last night. Tristan Jackson won a heat at the Grand National. Jones out in front, something of a Northampton specialist, having had a great battle last night with uh, Junior Wayneman and Nigel Green at Birmingham in the Grand National. Tristan Jackson under fire from number 12, Michael Scriven. Danny Wayman in 2 1 2 in behind them. All four of the Waymans racing this weekend Junior Wayman, Danny Phoebe, and Frankie JJ. Frankie Junior Junior is out of this race though. Danny Wayman attacking Michael Scriven. He's had a few wins here over the years, including the Trust Fund Championship here a couple of years back. This is out though to Danny Wayman, the former under 25s champion in 2015. In the last few laps now, it's looking good for Todd Jones, the blue grader up front ahead of Aaron Leach. Colin Goodswin in behind him in 372 has come through the third. 6-4 Davidson under fire from uh, Drew Lamas in 543. First full season in Brisker F1 this year, being graduated from the F2s. It's in sideways there though, could lose out to Paul Harrison. Yes, Paul goes through the winner of the world title here at Northampton in 2011. But uh, 186, Todd Jones has escaped up front. The car that he shares with Harry Stewart. A classic hot rod star. Harry won the UK Open title in this car this year. It's 
Todd Jones racing it this weekend, and they certainly can't keep up with Jones in this one. He is coming into it, avoids a spun car, that's Drew Lamas on the final turn, takes the win ahead of Aaron Leach. Looks like Colin Goodswin in third, possibly Danny Wayman fourth. We'll confirm those places in a moment. Well done to 186 of Todd Jones. The rest of the cars come across the line as the sun already beginning to set here on this autumn day. Jones taking the win then, ahead of Aaron Leach by nearly two seconds. Colin Goodswin third, ahead of Danny Wayman and Michael Scriven. And Wart Niels gets a top ten in car number 408. 14 of the 21 cars going the distance in that one. It was fourth place Danny Wayman who got the fastest lap. 186, Todd Jones, heat two winner here at Northampton today. That was a nice win. Yeah, it was all right. It was a bit of an easy race. Easier than normal, I suppose. Yeah, not too bad. It was easy for you, it was all kicking off behind you. Obviously Ryan got put in quite hard in that one and you just escaped all the carnage. Yeah, just uh, try and get through early at the start, make my make way through as quick as I can and just worry about the rest of it all. And you were getting involved last night at Birmingham as well. You, you, you seemed to be the spark in the final that got everybody going as well. Yeah, we've all come to race. It doesn't matter if you're in a shootout or not, everyone wants to get involved. You've got to, everyone's got the same cars, all spending the same money, so you've got to get involved. Keep it up, that's what everybody wants to see. Yeah, no worries, thank you. Consolation time now then. These are the drivers who didn't make it into the top 10 in the heats. The top 12 go through from this one. There's only 14 cars out there for it. Names to look out for, including uh, Drew Lammers. We saw him spin out earlier on. There's Neil Scriven, number 11. Brother of Michael, who we saw earlier in the heats. So out there, we've got number three of Chris Fort. 175, Carl Hawkins. Paul Hines is out there in uh, 259, could start as the favourite for this one. Kelvin Hassell and Terry Sparks lead the field away with uh, 478 Shaky Shane Geary. Three white graders, Richard Woods, the uh, leading yellow top there. Away we go then for another 16 laps. Two blue graders in there, it's Kelvin Hassell, number 30, leads them off and wallop straight in goes Richard Woods in 268. He was fired in there, I think, by uh, fellow Yellow top in this one, Danny Colliver. Race continues though. Smoke again out of Colliver's car. There's the Blue Raiders, including Michael Stewart in 5-1-2 under fire from Jordan Folding. His dad, Peter Folding, a four-time world champion. Martin it is who leads the way, Kelvin Hassell. He's raced all sorts of cars over the years. He's raced on ovals in America. He's raced Legends cars. He's raced classic saloons on the circuits too. Raceway filling with smoke, and that's uh, again from Danny Colliver's engine, number 468. I think the marshal's going to have to flag him off. Yes, there's the white flag with the red cross. That means technical problem, you need to retire. And that's for Danny Colliver for the excess of smoke that he's making. I think it's a struggle for drivers behind him to see where they're going, and a bit of a struggle for us as well. So Dick Dastardly tactics from Danny Colliver, smoking everybody else out, and he's had to pull off. Leading the way, it is uh, white grader Kelvin Hassel looking for his first Brisker F1 win in number 13. Carl Hawkins on the move in 175, the first of the blue tops. He's up into second place now, coming off turn four past Shane Geary. Carl Hawkins, ex V8 Hot Stocks racer. Place is 512 of uh, Michael Stewart now. Away goes Kelvin Hassel. Could this be his first win in Brisker F1? Last exploits onto the uh, long circuits ended in a bit of a disaster at Alton Park up in Cheshire, Kelvin Hassel. The Mark 1 Cortina, he shares with his father Alan, was involved in an accident in qualifying. They've been re rebuilding that car. It's his dad's uh, workshop along with various other race prep projects. He is an intriguing, fascinating character, is uh, Kelvin. Great potential in the world of Brisker F1. He continues to lead him, so Carl Hawkins is closing him down. Here's Paul Hines in 2.59, former pole sitter for the world final. He was here at Northampton in 2011. In the fire from Chris Fort in number three. Behind them, Neil Scriven in number 11. Scriven boys, always very competitive on the tarmac. Here comes Carl Hawkins, having a look as they go down the back straight. He's got the inside into turns three and four to take the lead on this lap 10 of 16. He's got the lead. Hawkins leads it, despite a bit of smoke coming off his car now. Kelvin Hassel under fire now from the 5-1-2 of Michael Stewart for second place. Fourth is Paul Hines.
in Chris Ford, Neil Scriven, and next up is Drew Lawrence. Don't forget, 12 cars will go through to the final out of the 14 who started. We've already had one retirement, uh, Danny Colliver, so finishing will be pretty much uh, OK to qualify, I would think, here. Maybe one other car that misses out. Looking to see if anyone else has dropped out of the race. Doesn't look like it's the There will be a race four positions at the back of the field. Kelvin Hassel coming under fire from Paul Hines, who goes through and up into third place. It's Carl Hawkins in the clear, despite that bit of smoke, not as severe as we saw from Danny Colliver's engine. Here comes Chris Fawkes next to attack Kelvin Hassel. We see one of Matt Newson's many hire cars here today. Credit to number 16, Matt Newson. So many new drivers into the world of Briscoe F1 as Neil Scriven fires Kelvin Hassel wide. He drops back. I don't think he'll drop out of the qualifying places. Just a couple of laps to go now. There goes Richard Woods. He's got going again after getting Wallop straight in early on. It's the last lap we go of this consolation event then. Still leading the way. Carl Hawkins, Blue Grader, is heading for victory. Down the back straight he goes. Smoke getting a little bit worse there, but he's coming in to take the win. Carl Hawkins in 175 wins the consolation. Second across the line. Looks like uh, it could be Michael Stewart for the rest of the placings in a moment as Carl Hawkins smokes the tyres, spins in celebration. So needs to be careful. Mark Adkins did that at Birmingham and somebody hit him head on. Ironically, it was Michael Stewart who did that, who uh, has just finished second in this consolation race. The red flags go out then. Carl Hawkins will uh, receive his trophy and we'll check out the results. Hawkins the winner by one and a half seconds ahead of Michael Stewart. Paul Hines in third ahead of Chris Fort and Neil Scriven. Top ten as you see there plus Mark Balmer and Richard Woods are the 12 cars who go through to the final. The unlucky ones who missed out Terry Sparks and Danny Colliver. 12 cars went the distance. Carl Hawkins also got the fastest lap. So some lively racing so far in the sunshine of Northampton here at Mintex National Points Championship round number nine for the Brisker Formula One stock cars. We're going to take a short break now. Brisker F1's joined by the Formula Twos and the National Mini Stocks coming up after this short break. That's coming up shortly. Don't go away. Welcome back to Northampton International Raceway here at round nine of the Brisker Formula One stock cars Mintex National Points Championship. This round sponsored by Ting Tools. We're going to take a break from the F1s now to have a look at some of the support action, starting with the young racers in the National Mini Stocks. They're contesting their Northampton Championship here today. They had a terrific meeting at Birmingham last night, sponsored by Midland Sports Media, and today 29 cars line up for the Northampton Championship final. The heats were won by gold top number one, Jack Wintz. The second heat went to 468 Bradley Cooper, the white grader, his first win in the formula. 246 Jensen Brickley, his second win of the weekend in heat number three. This will be a 15 lap race. Terrific field of cars out there. The gold top number one, Jack Wintz, is out there. The British champion number eight, Catherine Harris. Drivers from all over the UK, all of them aged under 16, some as young as 10 or 11. This big grid, non qualifier starting from the back. Bradley Cooper at the front in 468 following his heat win. He will lead them off at the green flag, chased by number 29 of Gracie Squire. Bit of a push and shove among the superstars earlier on. 3-8-1 Tyron Evans, who won the final at Birmingham, under fire from Chloe Serpel in 6-1-3. Bullock in 101, chasing 246 Jensen Rickley in the car that Charlie Ginchard won so many times in over the last couple of years. Somebody off onto the centre there, I think Charlotte Lewis in 193. And Tom Armstrong gets spun out in 112 and Wallop into the wall go Jack Witt and Danny Parker. So a bit of a pile up there on turn four. We're going to go caution with Danny Parker stuck facing the wrong way in the middle of the track. Bradley Cooper, the leader in 468. The car's brought under control by the yellow flags. These uh, drivers wear race receivers in their crash helmets as well, radio receivers, so they can be warned of any hazards by the stewards. There's the uh, pile-up off turn four. Tom Armstrong getting hit from every side. Danny Parker and Jack Wintz in the wall as well. So Bradley Cooper leading. It's 285 of Bryony Davis in second. Third place, Gracie Squire, number 29. Started racing when she was just six years old in uh, a formula called Ninja Karts. 468 to Bradley Cooper leads them off. They're looking for his second win of the meeting and his career. Also raced in junior stocks carts. He's under fire here from Bryony Davis, another ex ninja kart racer in her 285 car. Her brother George is also somewhere down this lineup, and she takes the lead down the back straight. 
Where's number 391, Rebecca Smith, daughter of the great Andy Smith, multiple world Brisker F1 champion and niece of Stuart Smith, who we've seen in 390 in the Brisker F1s today. Just going in there into turn three, getting set wide is Gillen Bullock in 101. There's number eight, Catherine Harris, the British champion. This is her last ever appearance in a mini at Northampton. She'll be turning 16 in uh, just a few weeks' time. We're told she's going to be racing V8 hot stocks next season. Gracie Squire gets taken wide. The higher graders now rising towards the front. It's still Davis and Cooper up there with the leaders, but uh, Rebecca Smith's in there as well. I think she's gone into second place. There's Lucy Shaw in 361. Blue Raider on the outside, led a portion of the final in Birmingham last night, looking for her first final win in the sport, and here comes Rebecca Smith in 391 in the car that uh, her sister Jessica used to race. They just avoid the rejoining Alexi Bartram there in 293, and Smith takes the lead from Bryony Davis around turns three and four. Very circle under five from Finn Sargent in the estate, number 798 there. The car's running out wide, and wallop straight in and straight over goes one of them and that's Alexi Bartram in 293 she got caught up there with Bradley Cooper the red flag is out because Alexi Bartram is on her roof just rode up the fence there I think it was a strange incident because it was Bartram who got fired out wide took Cooper with her it's normally the car caught on the outside that rolls over but it was Alexi who went over this time the officials checking on her she appears to be okay a relative newcomer to National Mini Stocks, having graduated from the Micro F2 stock cars. Another battered car, but fortunately Alexi is OK. So Rebecca Smith the leader, Bryony Davies second, Catherine Harris is up to third, then it's Lewis Evans in 392 in fourth place. The first of the Evans twins, Tyron Evans will be not far behind him as we get back underway. And leading the round is Rebecca Smith, Bryony Davies is going to get spun out. Round goes the 285 car, Catherine Harris up into second, it's Lewis Evans in third. Then we've got Jensen Brickley and Chloe Serta. So it's the girls showing the boys the way at the moment. Catherine Harris is going for the lead. She wants to win her last race at Northampton in mini-stocks before she moves up into senior racing next year. Lewis Evans in there, attacking for the lead, wanting to make it a family double for the Evanses this weekend, perhaps. His twin brother Tyron won the final at Birmingham last night. Harris into the lead at half distance. Evans into second. Smith goes down to third. Lewis Evans attacks for the lead. There's Jack Wicks, the gold top in number one, recovering from his earlier tangle down on turn four. Gets past the new East Coast champion, Josh Hampstead, in 4.05. Great Catherine Harris with the lead as the sun begins to set here at Northampton International Raceway. Jensen Brinkley trying to break into the top three ahead of Chloe Serple and Finn Sargent. Brinkley attacks, coming off turns three and four. Just coming up on a couple of back markers here. It's still Catherine Harris who holds the lead. Brinkley in with the bumper on the back of Evans. 287 Amelia Wilkinson being lapped there. Bryony Davis as well. Now she got spun out by the leaders earlier on. She's not giving way to them here with five laps to go. They're going to have to fight their way past the back marker, I think. Catherine Harris up the inside nudges her wide. Rebecca Smith still there in second place, looking to retake the lead. She's just done the fastest lap of the race. And in goes the bumper at turn three. Catherine Harris fired wide. Smith goes through underneath the number eight car coming off turn four. Catherine Harris down to second, struggling with the back markers here. Bryony Davis is going to get spun out again. It's elbowed out wide on turn two. Jensen Brickley has come through in the second. Harris is back to about fifth place because Chloe Serple and Finn Sargent have come through as well. Well, typical lively racing from the minis. They've had an incredible weekend. Meeting at Birmingham was absolutely superb. It's excellent racing here at Northampton as well. Chloe Serpent, away from Plymouth, the fire from number eight of Catherine Harris. 798 Finn Sargent behind them. So somewhere down this lineup is the new white and yellow grey champion Leah Seeley, number 475. Well, that's Birmingham. Catherine Harris fighting back in the break, gets past Chloe Serpent. Smith who leads from Brickley, Harris back into the top three, Finn Sargent behind her, Lewis and Tyron Evans queuing up in the traffic as well. But we are on the last lap now of this uh, Northampton Championship for the National Mini Socks. It looks like Rebecca Smith is going to win the title. I don't think Jensen Brickley is going to catch her on the final turn. Round turns three and four they come and Rebecca Smith takes one of her biggest wins in the formula so far. She takes the Northampton Championship, Brickley second, Harris comes over in third place rest of the pack stream home behind them. Superb close-fought racing from the youngsters, the brisker stars of the future.
Rebecca Smith, the winner, by just under a second ahead of Jensen Brinkley. Harris third ahead of Sargent and Evans. Chloe Serpel in sixth position. A total of 22 cars went the distance out of the 29 who started. It was race winner Rebecca Smith who got the fastest lap. Well done to the mini stocks. They put on brilliant entertainment across this weekend. Now we move on to the final for the Brisker Formula 2 stock cars. 30 cars out there for this one. It is a round of their national series here today. The race for the silver roof currently led by the holder of the National Points Championship, Gordon Moody from Scotland in number seven, battling with Dave Polly in number 38 at the top of the charts coming into this round. Heats were won by 527 of James Riggle and 154, the European champion Michael Green. Dave Polly won the consolation and the white and yellow grey championship for Northampton. And the start of this meeting was won by 297 Paul Bailey. Keith Walding and 398 Ian England lead the field away. Green flag, 20 laps from in the distance, already getting elbow wide. That is Paul Bailey in 297. We've got a tangle there between a couple of blue tops. Who's that facing the wrong way? I think that was Richard Clubley in 665, quite possibly. There's Dave Polly, number 38. Chased by number 7, Gordon Moody, battling for the points. Early leader is local man Keith Walding in 563. Superstars battling it out at the back. There's Walding leading the way. Moody will be the favourite, I expect, for this one. Matt Linfield getting taken aside and run over there by one of his uh, fellow yellows. I think that might have been Julian Coombs, number 828. Linfield goes out and Moody's gone as well. Moody has gone, he's crashed into that pile up there. The caution is out. Now, could this affect the points lead? Because it looks like Gordon Moody is out of the race. Keith Walding, the uh, leader, pulls up alongside him. So this could be significant in the race for the points. We'll try and see what happened there. It was two yellow greys. It was Coombs who ran over Matt Linfield's bonnet there. And then coming off turn four, Gordon Moody hits Linfield's car. That's broken the right front corner of Gordon Moody's machine. The Scotsman is out of the race. So the points leader drops out, looking to retain his silver roof for another season. Getting ready for a resumption in racing then. And Keith Walding will slow away on the restart. Michael Heath in 661 is going to take the lead on this restart, we're back underway. Already cars getting fired wide in among these superstars there. Andrew Palmer in 606, 184 of Aaron Vate in among them. They bounce off each other down the home straight. Dave Polly a bit slow away on that restart. The yeah, son of legendary hot rod racer George Polly. Michael Heath leads then in 661. Ian England gets spun out of second place. So who's through to second now? It's Matt Stoneman, Matt from Devon in 127. Had a win at Birmingham last night. For another one here. Side by side there, 560 Luke Wrench, final winner at Birmingham, and an incredible finish. He went from fourth to first on the last bend as everybody else tangled up ahead of him. Racing with Kelvin Marshall in 101, the ex world champion who's just done the fastest lap of the race. There go the leaders, it is still Michael Heath up front in 61. Somebody spinning out there, Ollie Herzog in 787, he goes for a spin onto the centre. Heath who leads, just ahead of Matt Stoneman. 886 Chris Bradbury up in third place, returning to F2s this year after a spell in Super Stocks. He's won the Silver Roof in F2s, the National Points Championship in the past. Here's our earlier heat winner, James Rigall in 527, getting the bump print on 606 and Palmer. Here comes Matt Stoneman up the inside, side by side, across the line. He's going to take the lead from Michael Heath. Takes the lead from the yellow grade up, 127, Matt Stoneman, who's won a few finals here in the past. 101 and Kelvin Marshall coming under fire from 527 of James Riggle. So in there is the 935 of Nathan Maidment. Wrench looking for a final double for the weekend. Bumpers Ryan Modling out wide. It's still Matt Stoneman out front. Somebody pulling off there. It's one of the blue tops. Richard Clubley, I think, in 665. Somebody else slowing as well. I think that's Ryan Modling. Quite a few cars dropping out of this one. Palmer gets shoved wide by Nathan Maidman, but battling in the midfield. 618 Ben Lockwood also in there, and yellow graders at 801 Jack Cave, Captain Caveman as he's known. He's been a white and yellow grade series champion of Birmingham in the past. Each track runs its own white and yellow championship open to everybody who scores points while white or yellow grade during the season. Paul Bailey, the winner of the Northampton one earlier in this meeting. Casualty in this final, unfortunately. Matt Stoneman leads one and a half seconds up on Michael Heath. Still Bradbury third. There's Northern Irishman, number 86, 
Billy Finnegan battling with Kelvin Marshall on his world title in 2015 at Hemsford Raceway. Taking the Ulsterman here as they go down the back straight. He's picked him up going into turns three and four and wallop straight in they go. Big hit there from Kelvin Marshall on the Northern Irishman. Billy Finnegan gets well and truly walloped straight in. Heavy impact there on turns three and four. Race continuing though. We may see a caution period, I would think, with that cast up there. Yes, the yellow flags come out. Let's check with Billy Finnegan is OK in NI86. Race will be brought to a halt. Matt Stoneman still leading the way, and there is the Heaney Motorsport built machine. Kelvin Marshall is getting the bumper in there into turns three and four, and wallop in they went. That's the end of Billy Finnegan's meeting. Bits flying everywhere off his car. We await the restart then, they're on the rolling lap. Still Matt Stoneman, 127 with the lead. Keith Balding behind him, although he is now a lap down. He's looking who's in second place there. It looks as though uh, the 661 car possibly still there of Michael Heath. We get back underway. No, it's Michael Green in second place. In fact, the uh, red and yellow chequered roof of the European champion showing in second. Michael, also the UK Open champion, won that at Skegness. He won his European title here at Northampton in July. He's been almost unbeaten through the season at the Northampton tarmac, Michael Green. Hitting his match here, perhaps, in this national series round. Stoneman ahead of Green by half a second. Luke Wrench up to third. Could he make it two finals for the weekend? No. Andrew Palmer under fire from the hard-hitting Kelvin Marshall in 101. And Lockwood in behind him in 618. Michael Green has just done the fastest lap of the race and there's only a couple of laps to go now. Could he attack Matt Stoneman for the lead? There's the gap, two to run. Luke Wrench third in 560, the man from Cheshire. And Jonathan Hadfield nearly loses it there in 142. He's also a circuit racer in Ginetta Sports Cars. 27, Matt Stoneman with the lead. Green has hit down the home straight into there. Final. Michael Heath, though, tangled up there with Nathan Maidman. That's ruined his race. We're on the last lap now. I don't think the leader is going to be caught. Michael Green is not going to catch Matt Stoneman. It's a win for the man from Devon. Green second. Third place goes to Luke Wrench, by the look of things. Confirm the rest of the results very shortly. 1-2-7, Matt Stoneman takes the win then. Two of John Hadfield across the line in a cloud of smoke, some damage for him. The presentation about to take place, and uh, unfortunately, Michael Green was docked down from second to sixth place for jumping the restart. So he goes down to sixth. Luke Wrench inherits second, and James Riggle in third place. Michael Green docked behind Kelvin Marshall and Andrew Palmer as well. 19 cars out of the 30 who started went the distance. Final time for the Brisker Formula One stock cars, then, here at National Points Championship. Round nine, this meeting sponsored by Teng Tools. We have 30 cars out there on track. Well, one car shouldn't be there, unfortunately. Number 300, Paul Carter, hasn't qualified for this uh, final, so he won't be able to take the start. He has had to pull onto the centre. We lost a couple of cars from the grid there. Nigel Green will start as the favourite in 4-4-5. Danny Wayman, the other non-starter, unfortunately, in 2-1-2. Two, two. Away we go then, over 20 laps. Shane Geary in 4-7-8 leads them off. But already a tangle among the yellow graders. Aaron Leach very sideways. I think it was Neil Hooper that he tangled with in 5-4-5. And Leach slowing up in number 70. I think he's got a puncture as a result of that. Fast and furious start here. We're on board with Stuart Smith in 3 9 -0. Chasing Nigel Green and Junior Wayman. And we've got a roll over there. Wayman's crashed into the upturn car and it's Carl Hawkins now that's a nasty one there Wayman collecting the upturn car but it looks as though Carl Hawkins our consolation winner is okay race has obviously been stopped you know, oh it was Antwort Neils that Carl tangled with and over he went and then bang that could have been very nasty Junior Wayman crashing into the upturned car of Carl Hawkins there Fortunately, it appears Carl is OK. The Marshal's helping him out of the car. Thumbs up from the uh, Marshal there. And Carl Hawkins is OK. Climbing on top of the car to show to the fans that he's all right. That could have been uh, much uh, worse. Thankfully, the uh, roll cage holding up. The strength of these uh, Brisker F1 cars being shown there. And Carl Hawkins is OK, albeit out of the race, of course. Looks like uh, Kelvin Hassel hasn't got away on that restart in number 13. Away we go, then the green is out to full restart over 20 laps. Also, 
7 8 Shane Geary once again leads them off ahead of Mark Adkins. A quite scary incident there, second rollover of the day in turns three and four. Michael Scriven up on the kerb there in number 12. It's Kelvin Hassel never got away, he's parked up on uh, turn four. Race on under the floodlights here at Northampton International Raceway. Bradley Harrison in 25 gets spun out, gets hit head on by Matt Newson. 5 4 3 Drew Lammers has tangled with somebody as well. I think that was Phoebe Wayman that he's tangled with. Nigel Green already on the move towards the front. Fort Aaron Leach have got a puncture earlier on. The caution is out. It's Michael Stewart, in fact, who uh, Drew Lammers has tangled with, so the caution is out. Drew Aaron Leach uh, able to keep going. I thought he'd uh, picked up a puncture earlier on. But able to keep going although the caution is out once again in this meeting final meeting finals at Northampton International Raceway do have a reputation for being somewhat fraught well they're going into turns at one and two the problem this time Bradley Harrison got spun out by Luke Davidson he got clobbered by Matt Newson and then a tangle between Drew Lammas and Michael Stewart as they tried to avoid the spun car of Bradley Harrison that's the reason for the caution there your leader is Mark Adkins in number 24. He takes off into the lead then as the green comes out ahead of Tristan Jackson in 101. And Aaron Leach gets taken out down the home straight going backwards. He manages to recover. Hopefully everybody will miss him there on the run into turn one. Stuart Smith attacking Luke Davidson with the fire in turn from 445 of Nigel Green. I think the yellows are going to come out again for Aaron Leach. Yes, they are. So we go yellow yet again. Cautions breeding cautions at the moment here. See in circuit racing, the safety cars breed safety cars because it closes everybody up together. Aaron Leach there banging wheels with Phoebe Wade, and that spun him around backwards down the home straights and not able to get the car restarted. A dangerous position, and so the race brought to a halt once again. Mark Adkins still the leader under a gorgeous sunset here at Northampton. Tristan Jackson in second place. Off they go once again, then Mark Adkins leads them off. Elwell on the attack, so he's Todd Jones here into Turn 1, Elwell under fire, they go past Neil Hooper, Jones up into third place, now he had a heat win of course, but we see a heat and final double for the night. Here's the main protagonist, Stuart Smith and Nigel Green, they're going to be the ones to watch in this final of Mintex National Points Championship round, number nine, sponsored by Tank Tools. Five Green gets past Smith, they'll now attack Elwell and Hooper, so they're moving up into the top ten now, these two, Mark Adkins still the leader, Stuart Smith chasing Neil Hooper, the Devon driver in 5.45. As him wide, tries to put him into the back of Nigel Green. Now, is that successful? No, Green gets his foot down, just drives away from him. He's so fast around Northampton International Raceway, the world champion. Nigel Green won his world title at Ipswich. Keeper his 11th tarmac final win this year. Deserving world champion, meanwhile. Company leaders have had a change up front. Tristan Jackson has taken over in number 101. He's under fire from Todd Jones in turn. Where's Matt Newsom, number 16? Steve Whittle under fire from Paul Hines. They get bumped in turn by Paul Harrison in car number two. Hooper's in that group as well. Here are the leaders. Jackson from Jones. Jones for the inside on turns one and two. He's going through. Todd Jones takes the lead in car number 186, looking for his double towards half distance but further back Nigel Breen has done the fastest lap of the race in car 445 and he's up to fourth now no he's up to third he's past Mark Adkins Stuart Smith in fifth place but it's 186 Todd Jones looking to escape it's the lead in the green and white car with the blue roof there's Stuart Smith ahead of Luke Davidson in 464 Chris Ford and Mark Adkins in behind them and a fine return to racing for Mark Adkins after several months away this weekend Still your leader is Todd Jones. Can he hang on in front? Nigel Green looking fired up again here. He's attacking Tristan Jackson for second place. He goes through at turn one. Surely Nigel Green is going to reel in Todd Jones here. They had a great battle at Birmingham in the Grand National in round eight of the National Points Championship. Down the home straight, Jones from Green. Third place still Jackson. Smith now up to fourth in 3 9 -0. Surely now Stuart Smith extending his points lead further because Nigel Green struggled in the early rounds of the National Points Championship. Stuart Smith with the bumper on Tristan Jackson to move into the top three. Surely this man is heading for silver this year. He led by over 100 points coming into this meeting. There is one round to go at Bellevue on the shale. Smith has won 
there a few times already this year. So it's Nigel Green. Green closing up on Jones. There goes the bumper in at turns three and four. He's going to take the lead with five laps to go. Nigel Green leads in 4 4 5. Surely it's going to be tarmac final win number 11 for Nigel Green now. Chris Ford there under fire from Matt Newson further back. Colin Goodswin pulling off in 372. Quite a few retirements in this one. We've lost nearly half the field, I think. There's the battle between the three and the 16. Chris Ford, like the winner of Buxton earlier this season. And number 16, Matt Newson, the higher car guru. Behind them, 259 of Paul Hines. That's qualified through the consolation tonight. Look at that gorgeous sunset in the background. Wonderful setting for stock car racing, one of the longest established UK venues for the sport, this one. Changed little through its long history. It ran on shale at one time. Or speedway staged here back in the 60s. But now it's tarmac. Perfectly suited to the world and European champion, Nigel Green. It's alias Smith and Jones for second place, with Stuart Smith reeling in Todd Jones. Luke Davidson is up to fourth. But they're not going to catch the gold top. 4-4-5, Nigel Green has totally dominated racing at Northampton this season. He won the European Championship here, and he is coming in for tarmac final win 2017. Number 11, he takes the chequered flag ahead of Jones, Smith and Davidson. Total dominance from Nigel Green this year. But I don't think it's going to be enough to win him the silver roof. We'll wait and see in the last round at Bellevue. Grand National still to go tonight, of course. But no stopping. 4-4-5, Nigel Green at Northampton International Raceway this year. Green the winner by just under a second ahead of Todd Jones with Stuart Smith behind. And Luke Davidson, Tristan Jackson, Matt Newson fighting off Chris Fort, Hines, Lee Fairhurst and George Elwell completing the top 10. 15 of the 30 starters went the distance. The fastest lap, of course, went to Nigel Green. 4-4-5, Nigel Green, final winner now. Your love affair with Northampton continues. <laughs> yeah, it's I've had a good run here at Northampton, yeah. So um, to finish the year, I think that's probably the last meeting with this car. So to finish with the heat final is great. And is that 11 finals for the season? I think so, yeah, something like that. Yeah, so quite a few, yeah, I'm happy with it. But in the modern day Formula 1 stock cars, that's quite a good achievement. Yeah, it's very competitive. And obviously in the shootout as well, starting near the back, it's, it's not easy to do, so just just kept my cool really and used the pace to, to get to the front and um, had an opportunity to to park Stuart up if I wanted to but it wasn't wasn't my tactics or my aim so I drove past him and he I don't think he wanted to be getting into anything he's just happy to clock the points up and uh, sign the championship off isn't he so yeah I'm, I'm still going for the national points overall um, and just to try and clock up as many wins as I can. Yeah, it's been a brutal night of racing as it happens and you've avoided everything and just drove really calm and got to the front every time. Yeah, I was a little bit concerned when I saw Carl Hawkins on his side because I just got underneath Frankie at the time going into that corner and he break wide offline and ran out of road and, and hit him while he was on his side. So it's never never nice to see stuff like that happening, but it's a credit to the sport that the, the lads are all OK and the car's all right. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was nice to see him get out well. Yeah, that's what everybody wants to see. And... Yeah. Well, uh, hopefully we'll see you at Bellevue and push hard there as well. Oh, definitely, yeah. If we're in with a shout, then I'm going to be going for it. But at the moment, I think I think Stuart's got it wrapped up. Unless something disastrous happens, it's probably mathematically not possible now. So no, I'm, I'm going to crack on and just try and try and do my best and, and win the races. So I'll, I'll be racing to win for sure. Thank you very much. Thanks. Last race of the night, then the Grand National. 22 cars out there. Nigel Green taking the one lap handicap having won the final let's see if he can win from there let's have a look who we've got out there the Waynemans are out in force we've got Sir Stuart Smith of course Luke Davidson all the National Points Championship contenders here at Mintex National Points Round 9 sponsored tonight by Tank Tools on board with Stuart Smith once again as they come round towards the green flag very shortly It'll be a 16 lap race there's Paul Hines in 259 Mark Barmer at the back in 163, only his second ever meeting. Just the one white grader, Terry Sparks in 292. Ah, there's the reason we had a delay on the rolling lap. Drew Lamas hasn't got away, he's on the centre. We get underway now, and it is Terry Sparks who leads them off. Paul Carter straight to the inside, goes straight into the lead in 300. Aaron Leach elbows Sparks wide, and the yellow and blue graders come through. Paul Carter missed the final, of course, 
lined up on the grid, but it's only Knotson actually qualified. Sparks flying there from, I believe, Todd Jones' car. He could be the favourite for this one. Away goes the uh, number 300 car at the front. Junior Waitman out in this one with no aerofoil after his uh, collision with Carl Hawkins earlier on. So look out for his wingless wonder further back in the pack. It's Carter who leads the way. Tristan Jackson second, Aaron Leach third, Michael Scriven up to fourth in number 12. There's Waitman, minus his black and white chequered aerofoil, the British champion. In among the uh, superstars at the moment, and chasing Todd Jones in 186. And at the front of the superstars already is Stuart Smith in 390. I don't think he'll quite seal the silver roof here at Northampton tonight. It will go to the last round at Bellevue, but in my opinion, I uh, really can't see Stuart Smith being caught in the race for silver now. There is Michael Scriven up to third. Now he's looking for a family double because his father, Rob Scriven, took the win in the V8 Hot Stocks Grand National here. It's a rare and welcome win for veteran Rob. His father, Ray Scriven, this Red One racer as well. Neil and Michael Scriven, the brothers, continuing their tradition. But it's Paul Carter up front in number 300. In one of Murray Harrison's stable of cars. They've got a repair job to do the Harrisons after Ryan got walloped in by Ben Riley. The start of the action today. There's Lee Fairhurst in 217. Normally a Northampton specialist, he's had a quiet weekend. Chasing Danny Wayman then. It's Carter who leads by one second ahead of Tristan Jackson. And Michael Scriven in third. George Elwell fourth and then Aaron Leach. And Neil's out of the race in 4.08 on the centre. It's been a great weekend for the British Touring Car Championship man. 300 Paul Carter continues to set the pace. Leach is halfway still in the lead. Chased now by Michael Scriven. He's got past Tristan Jackson up in the second. But in this race it seems the higher graders are more content to battle among themselves. Somebody slowing up there, that's Colin Goodswin in 3.72, the East Anglian. Aaron Leach slowing as well, so maybe they've had a moment. So. Michael Scriven chasing our leader, Paul Carter. Waitman's racing together, Danny chasing Junior Waitman in 5.15 in the wingless wonder. Oh, Stuart Smith, he's chasing down Neil Scriven. And Luke Davidson in 4.64 gets past the blue top, number 11. Leading the limelight in this one, Michael Scriven is challenging for the lead, held by Paul Carter. Leads the closing stage now of this Grand National. Five laps to go. Here comes Scriven up towards the back of the number 300 car. Still Carter that leads the way, took the lead from Terry Sparks on the very first turn. Aaron Leach out of the race there in the background. Todd Jones, not such a force in this one, battling with Paul Hines in 259. Surely now, Michael Scriven is ready to attack. For the lead. They're coming up to lap Mark Balmer, the novice grader in 163, just locking a break there into turns three and four. And now the bumper goes in from Michael Scriven. They're side by side coming out of turn four, and Scriven's going to take the lead into turn one. Yes, he's done it. Michael Scriven from Gloucestershire takes over the lead from Paul Carter. Here's Jones, Hines, and Nigel Breed, who's making a fair bit of progress from his lap handicap. I don't think he's going to make it into the top ten, though. There's only a couple of laps to go. It's going to be a Scriven family double. Rob Scriven in the V8 Hot Stocks Grand National. Michael Scriven in the Brisker F1 Grand National. Unless anybody can lunge in on Michael on the last bend here. I don't think they're going to do it. Stuart Smith starts his final lap chasing Luke Davidson in 464. It's the battle for fourth. It's going to be a win for Michael Scriven. Here he comes, the Blue Raider, around the final turn. It's two wins for the Scrivens tonight in V8 and F1s. Michael Scriven takes the Grand National. The pack across the line looks like uh, Davidson just held on ahead of Stuart Smith there for fourth place. Paul Carter, a fine second ahead of Tristan Jackson, confirm that result in just a moment as Michael Scriven smokes the tyres in celebration. He takes the win in our Grand National ahead of Paul Carter by eight tenths of a second. Tristan Jackson third ahead of Davidson and Smith. More help for Stuart Smith's points lead. Neil Scriven rounding out the top six ahead of the Waynemans, George Elwell. Lee Fairhurst. 18 of the 22 starters went the distance in that one, and once again it was Nigel Green who got another fastest lap. Number 12, Michael Scriven, winner of the Grand National here at Northampton in what's been a tough day's racing. Yeah, it's been tough with the shootout lot pushing from the start to the end, but coming away with a win, as well as my dad in the V8 Grand National. Superb. Yeah, good day for the family all around, and you liking for Tarmac's continuing? Yeah, Tarmac. Tarmac form's brilliant. Need to get that shell form a bit better for next year. And then a red roof. Possibly, if I could race a bit more. Well, best of luck. Thank you very much. Take a look at the points then with one round to go at Bellevue. Well, Stuart Smith 
with a large lead of 119 points over Nigel Green. It's going to take a Herculean effort from Nigel in the last round in Manchester to overhaul Stuart Smith for the silver. To be fair, her sitting third ahead of Junior Wayneman and Matt Newson. Race for the silver almost coming to a climax now. Entertaining racing as always here at Northampton. Just one round of the National Points Championship to go at Bellevue. Will Stuart Smith be wearing silver at the end of the season? We'll find out at Bellevue, but it's goodbye for now.